Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to make the cylinder part of a gun. So now let's get started. So open your blend file and then you need to add a square. So shift A add plane and now go to the edit mode. So you need to go to the edit modes and then add a two loop cuts at the center. So control R for that and add a two loop cuts. Then add one loop cut at in between them and add one more loop cut in the x-axis okay then you need to add one more loop cuts uh, in the x-axis and then add two loop cuts along the y-axis like this you need to add the loop cuts you can see on the in this video okay after adding the loop cut you need to select this word and press M to merge them at the center and then you need to dissolve this so control X for that just dissolve those edges okay then select this face faces and then you need to insert these faces so press i for that and move them along the z axis and just adjust its scale so that's why you can uh, scale them and just adjust it height how much depth you want for your mesh okay then you need to move these words along the x axis so just Select these words and scale them along the x-axis and this is our first mesh. Then you need to add array modifier on it. So just add array modifier and count should be 6. Okay and make sure that merge option should be on there in the array modifier. Okay then you need to add the circle and that the circle path not circle curve not the circle mesh. Okay then you need to add a curve modifier on that plane and then select that Bezier circle okay in that curve modifier and just need to adjust the scale of your circle so just scale that circle and fix this like this then you need to merge the word merge word uh, merge this option there in the array modifier make sure that should be on so I didn't on that yet but yeah it should be on And now you can see this is our base mesh. Okay, make sure that should be on. And just try to fix it right. Uh, there is a weld modifier also. So you can uh, use that modifier to weld these two endpoints together. Okay. Then you need to add one more cylinder and vertex should be 8 and this will be the front part for the mesh just hide that one and snap it to the 3d cursor ok and delete this bottom words because we want a 2d planar shape and snap it to the 3d cursor like this make sure before that set the origin to the geometry and then snap it to the 3d cursor and just need to duplicate it and move it along the y axis you can press and hold the control key for the snappy mode then select both and then rotate it into the 60 degree because we want 8 circles like this 8 or 6 uh, 6 circles yeah so we want a 6 circles like this so then select all and then join them and make sure center should be at the origin of the geometry and then just move it along the y axis and adjust its scale and here also we need to recreate the topology in the right way so we can fix this part to the back part okay just select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and you can see how I am creating this topology just you need to select these edges also and then you can press F in to fill the gap okay and that's look pretty well now you need to figure out how should i go to edit that topology so select that edge loop and e to extrude and scale it along uh, scale it so just to add more loops there and then you need to select this edges so just select shift select and then you can use the e to extrude and scale them 
and you can use the loop tool to make a circle but before that I would like to suggest you add one more loop at there so just adjust the scale and you can rotate it to get the perpendicular uh, edges to every point ok and that's look pretty well one more time I have explored that then you can delete these faces we don't need them ok and now it's look pretty well now we need to connect this topology to the back part so we can connect them together before that just adjust the proper scale and proportions and then you need to apply that array modifier and the curve modifier ok and so you will get this kind of mesh just need to merge these words at the center so select these words and press M to merge them at the center and now that's fine and try to make try to create the right topology chord based topology few triangles are fine but try to create a chord based topology you can see if I select these edges there, are, there is an option statistics if I select that then there are the 30 words and if you select these then there are only 24 words so that's why I am selecting these edges and I want to add more words so that's why I just add bevel on these edges so you will get double edges at there so we can manage the vertex count so we can merge them together so we can connect uh, in a proper way just scale them along the I guess that's x and y axis to maintain that edge flow just make sure it should be right uh, width for that bevel so we can maintain the good edge flow at there and then select these edges and then press F to fill the gap and now you can see we have successfully connected that geometry together and then you can use the loop tool to make a circle but it won't work in this case you rotate then you will get the same topo same edge flat there but that's fine Now you need to select this edge loop and then E to extrude and move it along the Y axis and then one more time E to extrude before that just E to extrude and then scale it along the X and Y axis and then use the loop tool to make a circle. and you can rotate it and then one more time add one more loop there so that's why E to X tool and then select this edge loop then face and then grid fill so we will get the chord based topology we don't need to do that select words and then right click and connect vertex path just use the face and then grid fill now you need to select these edge loops and then you need to E to extrude them and move it along the Y axis like this so you can create the holes at there and here also we need to create a topology so we need to fill the gap so you can press F to fill the gap and just here I bring them out So you can see then I am selecting this face uh, edge loops and then you need to press F to fill the gaps in between them 
you can use the grid fill also here but i will like to go with the select the words and connect vertex path because it's very small and you can do that if there are if there will be the many words then i definitely i will go for grid fill so just select these words then right click and connect vertex path and then you can go with the symmetry also but in some cases you will get the difficulty with the symmetry option symmetrize so you can see i didn't get the right symmetrize set there because maybe because of the wrong axis but yeah you can see that edge loop double edge is at there so that's why it's good to go with the right click and connect to vertex path select the words the right click and connect to vertex path then select this face faces you need to select these faces so just select them and then move them along the y axis like this and then you need to press i to add one more loop at there then select these face loops and then press i for the insert operation and give the thickness value at there Okay then select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap and then select the words and then connect vertex path. Then you, you need to add the sublime surface modifier and then increase its level and then shade smooth it. And you can see the normal orientation is wrong. So just you see the face orientation and you can see then write uh, alt N and then recalculate normal then you can see the face orientation it will be blue if it's red then face orientation is wrong night uh, face orientation is little bit wrong so you need to recalculate the normals so just here i am selecting this age loop because i forgot to add the more age loop at there so that's why make sure individual origin should be on and then scale them along the x and z axis and then move them along the y axis so you can create one more edge loop at there and you can tie to your mesh and then add one more loop cut so just add a loop cut like this And now you can see our mesh looks pretty well. Then you need to add one more loop cut here just to tight your mesh and to make it hard surface. And just need to add the loop cuts wherever is necessary. And just move around your mesh and see how it's look from all angles and if you add the loop cuts right now you will get the weird result in the front face because we have created this kind of topology already at there and we have used the grid fill so we can't add the loop cuts right now if you want to add more loop cuts then add those before and then use the grid fill. So you can see the face loops how it goes around the mesh. And now our mesh looks pretty well. So decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done here. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video take care.